Here we have the T-Bird Stalker representing the movie Stroker Ace. This uh, T-Bird Stalker is part of the 2013 Retro line from Hot Wheels. Now, uh, this car here, we haven't seen it in a long time. As a matter of fact, I did a video talking about the T-Bird Stalker. I was talking about the 1997 Racing Action Pack. And I said that, uh, you know, if you want to get a hold of the T-Bird Stalker, pick up that 1997 Action Pack. Uh, it's called Racing because uh, the model's gone, hasn't been seen for a long time. And some of you guys said, nope, it's going to be coming up in the retro line. So here it is. Matter of fact, let me show you just a little clip of the uh, that 1997 Racing Action Pack video. And sure enough, you know, well over 10 years later, almost 15 years later, actually this probably came out in 1998. I think I said there was one more release after this. So I thought I'd go ahead and open up the uh, retro piece to see if anything's changed with the model uh, over the uh, nearly 15 years it's been since it's been out. There's the two models from the Action Pack, Racing Action Pack. This this one here is the Pontiac, the Pontiac, I'm the uh, Buick Stalker, sorry, Buick Stalker. We're not gonna. If you want to see a close up about that, I'll give a link at the end of the video. It'll also be in the description. Uh, I thought you can go ahead and check this one out. I'm going to open this guy up and then we'll compare and see if it's a new tool, old tool. See what's going on. Now we got to look at the sides here. We'll take a look at the sides first. A little hard to tell, but let's take a look. It does have the door handles. You can see the you can see the door handle right here a little nub for the door handle yep this one has the door handle so they could be the same and looking at the backs they both use this uh, kind of plastic part that's part of that's part of the interior I like how that gives it uh, a, a nice touch to the car it breaks up the uh, body and the base they both have the pipe coming out the side oh something when I when I made my video for the case of retros I said I really like the wheels on this one because it's got the treads. But some of you racing guys say, hey, that's the wrong treads. I think you said it should have slicks. I assume you mean that uh, this kind of car is not supposed to have treads. Uh, I just collect toy cars. I, I, I'm not sure if it's authentically represented or not. But, uh, you know, thanks for posting that. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if, if that's what you mean, that it's not supposed to have treads on there. It's hard to see. The interiors look the same to me. They both have roll cages, but uh, yeah, roll cage. But the interior makes it a little hard to see on the black one. Let's take a look at the front. Now here we have. Um, hey, you know what? Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a new casting, because you see this one has the uh, metal grill. This one's plastic. See how it doesn't have the gloss? It's definitely a separate piece. That's a separate piece. The plastic here is red. This is blue plastic. So look, a plastic grill. Nice! They gave the uh, retro version a metal gear grill. Metal body, metal grill, metal base. Yeah, very nice. So let's see, uh, they changed that part to metal. That's a change from the previous one. Actually, this one, the plastic interior continues to give it this, this little difference here, but this one it doesn't have that. This is all one piece. It appears to be the grill and this bumper. The bumper part is painted and this part is red. So the base is changed. Actually, that's not the... Maybe that is the base. This is probably part of the base right here. If not, it would be pretty hard for them to paint it like that. It looks like it's uh, the base. So I'm assuming the base part is the grill for this one. Looks like it's the uh, bumper here. I mean, yeah, bumper, grill. Now let's see. We looked at the sides. Look at the. Looks at the, they look the same on top as well. Let's take a look at the bumper. And now clearly you can see it's a new casting. The uh, the body has been changed because you see this one has T Bird for the uh, license plate, and this one doesn't have anything at all and looking at it that's about it that's what I can tell is the difference now when something's like uh, 10 15 years apart 
more than likely it's not the same tool basically because they can't afford to pay for warehousing to have I know it's their I don't even know if it's their building is this uh, these are made Malaysia China where are these made made in Malaysia on this base and this one is made in China now they could have they could have shipped the tool from one country to the other you know but that's all expensive the tools are for these are big hunking pieces of metal so anyways uh, when something's been gone over 10 years more than likely they have to do up a no, new tool because they don't leave the tools sitting around uh, space costs money and if you look at the uh, class you know, we also have a difference we also have a difference in the uh, body just above the windowsill windowsill it's not a house the windshield we got three nubs for the uh, windshield but the old one the uh, the nubs this one's kind of worn down right here but here you can see nice crisp uh, dots there I'm not sure what those would have to do with racing if you guys let me know I appreciate you guys appreciate you guys telling me things that I don't know when it comes to um, reality of these things because I just like to collect toy cars you know if it looks good for me that's what I like to buy so here is the uh, Tiber Stalker representing Stroker Ace from the 2013 retro entertainment line now at the end of the video I uh, give links for different videos that I have done uh, if you didn't know I also try to put those links down in the description sometimes I forget if I forget let me know and then I'll go put the links in the description as always Thanks for watching and happy hunting. Bye bye.